Today is Palm Sunday, the beginning of Holy Week, culminating in the most important event in Christianity, the death and resurrection of Christ. Today, as Christians, we remember the very public and triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem as a humble traveler on a donkey. And in this last week of Christ's life, we're reminded again, through St John's Gospel, of his humility at the Last Supper, when he washed his disciples' feet and gave this last commandment, that they love one another. In Britain, we have our own special celebration to mark that final commandment, Royal Maundy, when the British monarch presents specially minted coins to retired men and women in recognition of their service to the church and the community. Today I've come to the place where the very first recorded Royal Maundy celebration took place exactly 800 years ago. I'm in the market town of Nesborough in Yorkshire. Eight hundred years ago, in April 1210, King John came here to Knaresborough Castle. It was one of his northern strongholds and a favourite base for a spot of hunting in the royal forest. According to the king's own personal expenses, on the 15th of the month, Maundy Thursday, probably here at the castle, King John distributed clothing and money to 13 of the town's paupers. Now, this is the same King John who, for generations of schoolchildren, is the bad king who tried to stop Robin Hood giving to the poor. How ironic, then, that 800 years later, his act of almsgiving has become a fixed tradition in the royal calendar. And when it came to Knaresborough, John continued to show generosity, even appointing one of his own clerks, Alexander de Dorset, as vicar here at St John the Baptist Church. So, spare a thought for King John, as I join the local community here for our first hymn. It's a Palm Sunday classic. All glory, Lord and honour.
This year, Nesborough is organising its own Royal Maundy 800th anniversary celebrations. And I'm here bright and early on a Monday morning at St John's Church of England Primary School to help out with a rather special assembly. As part of the Royal Maundy celebrations, specially designed Maundy coins are being given to all the primary school children of Nesborough. By King John in 1210 and Castle Nesborough Castle. Brilliant. When my daddy comes back from work, I'm going to show him this. Christ, he's going to be jealous, isn't he, that you've got that? Hopefully I'm going to get a frame and put it up on the wall. Brilliant. Go you forward planning. <laughs> So go and tell me why it was a really, really special assembly today. Because the cameras were here. Because the cameras were here. <laughs> Surprisingly, Nesborough's important connection with Royal Maundy was unknown to modern historians until the 1980s. That it gained its rightful place in Maundy history was down to the passion of one Nesborough man, Arnold Kellett. Sadly, Arnold died last year, but his family are proud of his achievements.